This is an emergency, I beg in urgency, this is a serious case. I'm going to throw some Florida water on these hands. Okay. All right. Well, as you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs or birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. We're going to be doing your consultation. We're going to be doing your consultation consisting of you just asking questions that you need. This is very different from the conversation with the barons and no cards uh, as that one you're just talking. But this one here, you, you're allowed to ask questions. Uh, okay. No question is a crazy question. I just don't want you asking any Orisha question, ancestor question, or trauma-based question. There is a reading for those. Okay. All right. With that being said, I've taken a little read shuffling your cards. Say your first name or whatever it is you would like for me to call you so I can pray on. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Yes, you do. All right. All right. Welcome back, darling. All right. How we going to work it? All right, what's your What's going on with the question? Okay. Um, well, I wanted to uh, kind of ask you some follow-up from uh, the five card spread that I did. Um, it was... Oh Lord, I got notes and everything else. All right. Um, <laughs> so one of them was, um, I know you told me that um, um, I asked about a uh -huh. that I was looking to make, and you said that would be a good move. And then um, you did say that it would be two people in Houston, which one of them I'm actually dating right now. Right. And there would be someone else that I don't know who they are yet, but um, one would be maybe, you know, coming to me playing games and the other one would be solid. So, and you gave me a description of the one that would be playing games, which, which kind of fit the description of the one that I'm dating. Okay. But <laughs> I wanted to kind of ask you, uh, was he the guy that would be playing games? Spirit. The one that she is dating at the moment, currently dating, is he the game player? Spirit said father, husband, brother, son. Spirit said take charge of the, uh, yep, balanced career, home life. He is the one. Something's going on with him. He's changed and he's playing games with you, darling. Now, he's the one that wants you to cohabitate with him, right? Yes. Yep, because Spirit say uh, balanced career, and home life. He wants you to move in so you can assist him, but he's not ready. I don't know what happened because spirits say he was good. Something done happened. Yeah, yeah, I know he's there. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, am I able to ask spirit what happened? Let's see. Yeah, what, spirit. Took a turn? What what made this this guy take a turn with her? Talk to me. Spirit say work your magic. Spirit says spiritual laws of attraction. Spirit say a fresh start. You happen. You decided to bring somebody else in the picture that was a little bit uh, more suited for you, Spirit is saying. So keep in mind, so let me show, let, so I'll tell you how they say. So let's say this guy over here, he's a good guy. You like him, y'all fuck good, everything right. Mm -hmm. You sit up here and you see another person and you say, well, damn, that's a potential for me too. So, so the powers that be that's over the relationship energy, they'll sit up there and they'll say, well, let me vet this person for her, you know, her emotions, her, her love life. And and if that person is a better fit down the line, they're going to bless you a little bit more. They're geared, the other person, to stray away and you to stray that way so to make the separation a little easier. Mm -hmm. So, again, you happen. He didn't happen. You happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. So, okay. did, so the one that you wanted to move up there and initially live in with, did you, like, he was going to be your everything when you got up there? Yeah. But then you had yeah. another person in your eyesight? Mm, not really. Mm, not really don't mean no. Well, no. I don't know anybody else. You know other guys and other than him. But you just said there's two potential dudes that you can deal with. Oh, well, uh, that was that was what, what you told me the last reading. But, the, okay, now, I told you that was the last re in the last reading, but I'm saying the secondary person, uh, well, let me change it up. Who are you, is there anybody else you think could be better fit for you that you know of right now? Not the potential that you know of right now that you probably dating, talking to, flirting with, that energy. Um, well, I don't think that be a better fit, but it is a guy that's been trying to talk to me years, like, 
oh lord probably about three years or four years <laughs> so probably three years mm-hmm. and uh we always seem to keep in contact Damn. and um when this guy in houston started acting different toward i kind of opened myself up and started conversating with the other guy but i don't feel like uh, a good fit for me so when uh, i said so when the spirit just told you he didn't happen you happen okay all right Okay, okay, I get it. I, I ain't gonna let no. your little flight attendant self uh, fly away from this. No <laughs> way, but I know, cause I, I don't know. I just caught myself like when when the guy started acting different toward me. I thought he was talking to somebody else to try to do something different. But I can he, I can recall that last reading. Spirit say the guy in Houston was very much good for you. Yeah, yeah, he. I thought that he was. And then we got into a relationship and he ended up um, kind of pulling away from the relationship, like telling me that um, um, he didn't know if we really had a connection and just all this other stuff. And so at the time, I wasn't talking to anybody at all. And when he did that, I was just like, okay, well, what's going on here with him? He just did a whole... That's called doubt. So, That's called doubt. He, did, yeah. he didn't do a 180. He just had doubt. That's when you liking this person you supposed to say hey i got you we're gonna rock together that that reassurance versus like oh shit, he got doubt i don't know let me back up too yeah because that's what happened i backed up mm-hmm. yeah, we live and we learn uh but yeah. now you should yeah you should be focusing on this this friend this homie lover friend that keep coming back around day after day year after year time after time yeah i'm <laughs> I know, like, and, and nothing, we, we haven't been intimate, we only, like, really seen each other one time out of all these years, and, you know, like, I don't, I don't know, I just, I can't find that connection with him like that. So, y'all, so, the, uh, how about you talk to Spirit about it? Okay, okay. I can't ask Spirit the question. Um, uh, okay, well, um, uh, I guess can I ask Spirit, would, uh, his name is Rico, would Rico be a better fit for him? Spirit, would Rico be a better fit for her? Spirit said priority. Spirit said flow of prosperity. Spirit said focus upon your strength. Spirit said honestly, Rico would do it for you, but because he won't affect your money. But they saying you really need to be getting your money together. They saying you should be doing the dating thing and getting your money together, but Rico won't hinder that from what they're saying, but the other guy will. Okay. So Rico is still gonna be a support system. So he will be good as a support system. Let me change I wanna translate, I wanna make sure you understand. Okay. Rico will be a great support system, great lover, however you wanna do it. But he is not boyfriend material, relationship material right now. He is a supporter. Uh, when it comes down to this, they saying you need to be getting your money up. So what the universe is trying to push you towards is making you 100% independent. So this is a financial bill time for you because you already gave your, your attention to one and you pull it back. Spirit say, let's not put yourself in that situation again. If you're going to have a little Rico friend, bang him out here and they're cool. But make sure you focus on your money, your Airbnb, your, your rental properties, that energy. Okay, okay, okay. Oh gosh, okay. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Uh, what else I want to know? Let's see. Um, am I doing everything correctly when it comes to taking care of my body or trying to stay healthy? Uh, let's see. Uh, so, ooh, uh, spirit just got all in your body. Woo! <laughs> Okay, spirit, you done analyze them. <sighs> woo, woo, I'm sorry, I'm not tight in spirit. All right, spirit, what's going on with her body? Is she doing right? Spirit said freedom. Spirit said twin flame energy. Spirit said nurture yourself. So what's going on with you is the whole stress of relationship. Surprisingly, you're carrying it in your, in your breathing. Like you lose your breath when you think about Panic, panic, thank you, Spirit. Spirit say your, your body is okay. Uh, they're talking about your sweat glands under your arms. I don't know if you need to change the deodorant or you need to kind of like exfoliate under there or make yourself sweat when you're in your long time. Sauna, sauna. If they say you got to start going to the sauna, they want you to get this toxin out the, la- the top layer of your skin and in your sweat glands. That's what they really want. But your breathing is so off, it's unreal. Okay. So I need you to practice some kind of breathing mechanism, some kind of breathing regimen. And you should do this when you go to a sauna. I don't know where you're from, what state, city, country, but you need to sit up there and find your sauna and get the toxins out your skin or that type of stuff. It's very important. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for 
but everything else you're okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay. I do want to know. I, I'm not sure if I can't ask this. Definitely let me know. But I did want to know um, if I had any, any spiritual gifts. Um, Let's see. Or, okay. <laughs> Spirit, does she have any spiritual gifts? Spirit said yes. Tell her what it is, Spirit. Spirit said persistence. Spirit said power of joy. Mother, wife, sister, daughter. Persistence, power of joy. Feminine energy. Well, you got to tell me a different way what, how the fuck to say this spirit because I don't know. I seen spirit do this twice in four years, but I need spirit. Give me some more. Persistence, power of joy, mother, feminine energy. I, I don't know. I don't know if you really enjoy sex, but they say you have the ability to make like men feel very special. I don't know if that's a sexual thing. I don't know if that's like uh, a ego boost type thing. I don't know if you need to date a lot. I don't know what it is or you just a, need to be a counselor for men, an advocate for men. But they are saying your feminine energy make men, drives men wild and that's your spiritual gift. You can compliment a man and uplift that motherfucker ego 100%. That's like your, your like a, a battery source to empower the masculine by using your feminine. Okay, I, I, I kind of suspected that. I ain't want to sit up there and say you're a javelin girl, you're a whore. You should be fucking up and don't use your body to be a spiritual hooker. Because last time spirit said some shit like this, the woman got on my ass. So, oh, no. I'm trying to, I'm just telling you what the cards say. That's why I had to fact check. But you, your ability is to touch the masculine energy and uplift it. That's pretty heavy. So, yeah, I, I, I kind of suspected that about myself because I, I, I did that for someone uh, and he explained to me how I made him feel he would be going through something and he would just call me or, or come around and whatever he was going through it, it, to get about it or it would make him feel better like I was I was a, a, a energy young yep. but he was draining my energy yes. once I gave him energy I had no more energy I'm like what the world yep but I recharge myself, you know, you know, with the help of the guys and everything. But yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, what a gift. What? A, oh, what a time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um. Okay. One thing I do, I've been wondering for a long time was, um, am I, am I paying back a karmic? a karmic debt right now in my life or have I already paid it back? Spirit, uh, wh where, where's she ranking on the karma scale? Spirit said energy healing. Ooh, look in the mirror and choose peace. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Damn. Ooh, that's real. That's a good feeling, girl. You are awesome. Ooh, look in the mirror and choose peace and you can do it. Spirit say, uh-uh, you ain't paying back no karmic debt. What you're doing is your, your, your karma is like really clean. So I don't know what your past life was. I don't know if you popped it open, cheated on people, beat people up, murdered a midget. I don't know. But spirits say you are okay and your heart is very warm. You're they they okay with your karma energy. So you're not paying back no karma debt. You're not you don't have shit karma following you. They say you're okay. You are very precious. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, because I was weird about that one. You can, you can, you can, you can admit to the Baron how many people you done took out. You can admit to the Baron. I was an assassin for the fucking bloods. I've done it. Oh my gosh. Well, well I have done it. But um, I was the person who I told you that I used to um, charge back money all the time. And it's like I was his personal battery or something crazy. Oh. It was the, yeah, he was a really good friend of mine before we started dating. And then when we got into a relationship, he ended up um, being married and had a girlfriend. I knew he was married and he was getting a divorce, but I didn't know he had a girlfriend. Then when I found out about the girlfriend, it was almost too late because I was already in love and I continued to talk to him because he said that he was going to leave her. He never left her. Then he just kept shaming me along, telling me, oh, well, I'm going to leave on this date. I'm going to leave at this time. Just believe in me. Blah, blah, blah. So he did that for like four, well, we did that for four years. Mm. And I thought, you know, then maybe I was paying karma for what I did, my part that I played. No, and, they yeah. they okay with that because you're because as you can see, you admitted it. That was part of your your gift. That's your spiritual gift. Maybe he needed that in order to get his shit together so he could lead to find better. It's just that the love just hit both of you guys. But no, spirit say there is no karma there. 
I'll, I'll share something. I'm gonna be transparent with you. I'll share something. So when it came to my second wife, uh, I was getting a divorce from my second wife. And I didn't want to mess with nobody. I, I was like, I'm gonna do this clean. I'm gonna, while we're going through the divorce, I'm gonna do this clean. Well, I end up meeting somebody and I told that person, I say, I am not going to be with this particular individual, my, you know, become the first of the year. And, and, I, and every time I've been in a relationship and that thing went bad, I would give the credence the first of the year. And no matter what happened in that relationship, I would hold true to that. A lot of women never believed that what a woman I did in coming out, they were like, ah, oh, you just gonna be the typical nigga, get the pussy and just stay in and come up, kids, job, housing. But no matter what my situation was, come December the 1st, I was not, I mean, come New Year's Day, I was not in a relationship with that person anymore. And rather I had to cut it cold turkey, and I think that was something that really made me stand above a lot of other brothers out there because I held true to the statement. And it's a lot of brothers out there that will sit up there and, and string a sister along for years saying they're gonna do this because they got kids, car notes, all that shit. And I get it, it's fear. But I think that on my end, and this has just brought me back to that, that's what makes me such a great person I feel inside because I didn't string nobody along. I gave her, hey, this is the thing I'm gonna do. You wanna rock with me till then or you wanna wait? And it happened and everything went well. So for you to go to put put up with this, knowing that there was a strong possibility that brother could not do that, would not do this, that just a testimony to your energy. And that's a testimony to a lot of women energy out there who still believe in love and still can value the man that's in that situation. I just think the men need to get off their ass and really commit. Yeah. Exactly. That's just personal. And I'm no simp type nigga. I'm real for mine. I'm just saying something. If I can do it, they can do it too. That's right. Oh, thank you for sharing that with me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, oh. you, there's no karma there. You did what you had to do, and even if it didn't work out, now is this the same person that keep coming back to you for years? Yeah. Hmm. So maybe he needs yeah. to get out of all that shit so he can be a great support system to you now while you get your money up. You see how spirit working yeah. is? Oh, you know what? No, he's not. That's he's not him. Uh, that's not him. Okay. That's not him. Uh. <laughs> This this person, uh, his name started with it. So, uh, yeah, that's not him. Okay. But I, I, I wanted, I wanted to ask Sirius, like, uh, this guy is always in my in, in my dreams. He's, um, I don't know. He, he, I just feel him around me all the time. And I used to like it because I was like, oh, you know, he's the one that I think we're supposed to spend the rest of our life together. And I'm realizing that I don't feel like it's, he, he, it's supposed to be that way. And I haven't uh, been with this guy in like probably six months or whatever. So I really want to figure out, you know, how to remove him from my energy or yeah. is he lingering in my energy? Okay. Or am I uh, say, like that? Or give me his initial. Give me his initial. And ask the question. Spirit, is, is X in her energy? Should X remain in her energy? Give her some energy, some some information about X, how to handle X. Purification, done deal. Get him out your energy. He's a lingering. You just need to do you a nice uh, spiritual bath or okay. cord cutting ceremony with him. Okay. I thought about that. Get him going to water and some grow kettles and stuff and put him in the bathtub because I'm like, I need to, he need to move because, gee. Yeah, uh, old lovers can come back and fuck up new new endeavors. I always say that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I do not double back. If I break up with you as you broke up with. Yeah, yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else? Um... Um, I, I also wanted to know if there, uh, is there any, any way that, uh, uh well, I guess I'm trying to figure out how to word this, um, are my kids okay at this time? Is there anything I can do to help them Spirit. with anything or are they okay? Is our kids time? okay? Energy of the children. Spirit said, listen. Spirit said, see the other person's point of view. Spirit said, go now. Uh, listen, see the other person's point of view and go now. Spirit say, leave them kids where they at now. Stop nursing them. Let them grow. Let them do, they gotta, do what they got to do. So that means you got a daughter mm -hmm. and you're worried about her or the boy? Um, I'm kind of worried about both of them. I got a son and a daughter. So I'm worried about both of them. But I know, I know I'm going to have to take care of them. Which is the girl. More mature. Which is the girl. Which is the girl. The girl is okay. Don't let that, that's why I say the daughter. 
Spirit say, stop thinking your daughter gonna get out there and do something immature, irresponsible, and do something crazy. No, she just looked like that. <laughs> Spirit say, she just looked like that. She just looked, she just looked innocent and sweet and or quirky and goofy. That girl got a lot of sense, so you shouldn't worry about the girl. As for the boy, uh, the time for him to grow, he gonna experience a little growing pains. Let it happen. Okay. Well, I feel better about that. I'm, just, I'm a weird one. I always invite everybody, <laughs> especially my people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I also want to ask, um, will I return to the airline industry? What plane you was on? United. I like United now, so Spirit, make a return to United so I can get some discount. <laughs> spirit, will she return to the airline industry? Spirit said, come out the closet, uh, detach from drama, uh, clear and shield your energy. You the one stopping yourself from that. What happened to you so bad on this airline that you like, I don't want to deal with it no more? Um, I think more or less maybe the commuting because I was based in and I live in Dallas and I was trying to... That's like two because, hours away from each other. Yeah, it was like I was, I was on reserve, so I would try to be at home on my reserve days versus going to Houston, kind of staying there until, you know, waiting on them to call me. I would try to be at home, gauging when they would call, and then sometimes I would miss the phone call or I wouldn't be able to get to in time for my trip, and I would have to call out. So uh, that was kind of, yeah, I think that was the only thing, just not being in the thing that I was working with. Well, they saying right here, this is your issue, your energy, so if you want to go back, you can go back. You just got to put down the whole energy of it's a problem. Okay. Okay. And I even, I was supposed to go to training with American Airlines uh, on the, the uh, 12th of this month. And I had to back out of training for a financial reason. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Why? Because you were- I've for American for years. Is American based out of Houston as well? No, they based out of Dallas. I mean, that's where you live, correct? I know, you're moving to Houston. Yeah, we're going to like What? But you live in Dallas? Yes. Yeah. So hell, that's right up the road. Yeah, so, yeah. So how did you miss that financially? Uh, just because of uh, just being in between jobs. Okay. I needed to pay my bills. Well, I gotta pay my bills and stuff. And in training, they don't pay, so you're kind of training for free. And, and okay, uh, and training is they put you on the plane and they fly you and you're training on the job, training, that type of stuff? Uh, part of it is, but most of it is classroom training. Okay. So you have to stay on the, at the, the training center and, you know, train every day in the classroom. And then some of the training is on the plane, but that's toward the end. So that what? That's about a week in training? No, it's like six. Damn, so you don't get paid for six weeks. Do they understand you have to go to your job and come back at night or day next day? Mm-mm. Like, you, you can't have no other job but that. Like, that's your job. Training. Damn. I see. And they tell you to save your money. Because we united our training. So I had quit my job and then I went to Houston and trained for six weeks with United. Then when I got out of training, they gave us like a thousand dollars. Okay. And then after that, we started uh, working our trip. But no, they don't. They don't take you at all in training. No, I see why the financial hardship came to be. Well, yeah, that. Yeah. That's something, well, you. I think you should really do it uh, if you know you're good at it and you like to travel and you and United is in Dallas. I mean, American is in Dallas, right? Yeah. And that's what you want. I think you really should lean on your family members if you got them and okay. see can you just pay your bills up for two months and uh, basically say, hey, I'll give you guys this shit back. You know, give me about three months of working to give you this, this thing back. I mean, because okay. uh, they saying you're the one stopping yourself and if, and if you don't have no friends around you that can do that right there, you need to adjust your 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 circle. Oh. What about this this motherfucking ex that keep coming back around trying to be friends with you and home and love with friends that you ain't fucking him? Uh, he, I'm pretty sure he'll be a support system. The card just said he can be one. Mm, I don't know. I had never thought about you know him in, in that way. You know, I. I, I, I had never thought about it. If this man gonna circle back around so many times trying to get at you and he not really asking you for no push, no commitment, no nothing, he just love your friend and you being cool with him, making it feel like some, hey, I really wanna take this flight attendant class. Is there anything you can do to support me? And I'm always here for you and vice versa so and I can get it back, but this is gonna better my life for my kids, myself, and hopefully for us in the future. I would take that opportunity because Spirit's saying you're holding yourself back 
and I do understand being in between jobs, but spirit is aligning people around you and my eyesight and what this card is saying where you can lean on. Okay. Okay. So general, general, let's let's try this a little different way. So if you was to go and do the training, six weeks in the training, staying at the facility with them, no other job you can work. I mean, you got to go home at night and come back. I'm, I'm assuming that. No, I have to stay there. Okay. So you have to be there <laughs> yeah. six and the kids are grown. Uh -huh. So now what would, how much money would you need for two months to pay all your bills? A rough estimate. Uh, at least probably about... 5000 Okay, so 5000 Guess what? It's tax season. So if people yeah. got more extra money. They got expendable cash. Yeah, yeah. So I would borrow XYZ, keep you a running log, a journal, and say once I get it, here's my first paycheck. My bills are paid. So here's my first here's my first paycheck. Hey, divvy that thing up. Pop, pop, pop. And then you say, hey, man, you like really send them text messages. Next week I have you this. I'm making sure my bills are paid, but I'm going to make sure you get all your money. And I'll do it like that. Uh, but you got to get on this plane. Spirit said you the one holding your back and this plane thing is going to be good for you. So. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, that's good to hear. I love flying. That's, that's a passion of mine. Traveling flying. Okay. Oh, let's see. Do I have, do I have a little bit more time or did we run out of time? Nah, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. This the, I ain't got my, my next reading ain't until an hour. Go ahead and ask, ask another question. Okay. Um, let's see. I did want to ask: um, Are there any um, are there any generational curses on my family, or any curses on spirit? Bulls are her in. Anything she should be looking for. Let me see. Go through all worlds. Go to all worlds, dimensions. I'm, I'm gonna take it to the take it to the map. I need anything that can affect the the negative generational curses, bad energy, whatever. Mm, okay. All right. I'm locking in. Is there? Okay. I'm locking in. Is there any generational curses? Follow your heart. Spirit say it. Let it go. Spirit say positive change. Uh, two things you need to do, and they're not a generational curse. It's just that something that wasn't completed in one of your in in your previous generation before you, two generations before you, something wasn't completed. This would be target. They keep saying target practice, target locking in on something. I don't think somebody was given the benefit to. I, th I think you was you, you somebody in your family had to find something for somebody, and they never locked in on it. But a lot of good stuff can happen to you if you can find uh, what, uh, like a mission your family was given. And they won't show me, they just keep showing me a target mountain range, target locked in. So if you, and I'm just gonna speculate, if you can go to like the Texas board of whatever, uh, wherever your family from, Alabama, whatever, and see something very hilly mountain, Maybe somebody was looking for a, a, a mind or a, a hill or providence and just look uh, look in the records and see can you locate something. It's something you'll know when you see it, but they saying it's got something to do with hills or mountains. And just try to complete a mission that your family member did in the past. Didn't get a chance to complete and that will make the past people happy. So there's no generational curses. There's just unfinished business in your generation that you guys were charged to do. Okay. Cause I, I always felt like, my dad used to always tell me that we had land. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, I, when he passed away, I couldn't find any land. And my aunt tried to help me before she passed away, but we both kind of drew blank. And so I just been thinking about it throughout the years, like how can I find this land? Was, Smart. was he for real? Or he was for, he was for he real. He was for, he was for real. He was for real. Uh, now, my question is, where are your family from? Louisiana. Oh, shit. They, you got more hills and, and shit in Louisiana than a little bit. Mm -hmm. So let me see. I'm, I'm just going to go deeper. I shouldn't be doing this type of reading like this, but I, I want to make sure you fulfill this. Uh, oh. If you can go to, if you can look in the area, because they saying it's literally in the area where y'all family home at or where the street where y'all grew up at is really that close. If you can look over something, it'll be like a mountain top or not a, a plateau or plain. But if you walk to the edge, you can literally see mountains in the distance, uh, sort of like rolling hills. Do you have anything in Louisiana where there's a bunch of land and you can see very like hilly things like mountainous terrain? I don't know how the terrain look. Um, I don't know if it's, maybe so, like, um, my family's from Shreveport and Bossier, and uh, kind of off in the country, which is a town called Sydney. Uh, we have a street called uh, with my last name. Gotcha. And we got family members that live on that street. And when we went out there for like a family reunion and stuff, 
that's where my dad told me the land was. No, when he told me that it was oil underneath. So it's, it's, it's oil, okay. Because I'm seeing yeah. where, like, it's a drop down, but it's still land. So could you kind of start in that area, going to okay. the, the parish? They call them parishes out there, probably. Mm -hmm. uh, go to the parish uh, records and see. And try to go back early, early, man. Because I'm, I'm saying go back because I ain't seeing no houses on this thing. I ain't seeing nothing. I'm seeing it's raw deed land. And okay. maybe that land don't belong to you guys. Maybe that land need to be given to the person they belong to. Let's say your grandfather or great grandfather might have left the land to somebody to be deeded to somebody else, but it never happened. And they saying, cause this is not yours per se, it's unfinished business that your family has to do. Okay, okay. I've, I've been thinking about that for years. Oh, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. I need to go down there and figure some stuff out. Or, or just another scenario, Maybe somebody played poker back in the day. Maybe something was bought and sold and that person never got to give that person the deed. So basically this is you finishing up something that your family did going to another family. So this ain't yours. Don't try to keep it. This belongs to somebody else. It's just that your family didn't come through or didn't finish the job. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh. All right, thank you. That, that was the way we lift it off because I, I always wondered about that. So I'm going to have to get on that. Okay. All right. Uh, do I have room for one more? I'll give you one more, which is slick Robin ass. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> I said Lord Mary. <laughs> okay, man. And I'm prepared to take whatever you say to me when I ask you. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Um, Lord Mary, sometimes I'm hard headed. Okay. Oh, um, going back to the guy you said. His name is DJ. Um, is there anything that I can to like, you know, kind of turn this around, being that it was me that kind of shifted everything with him? Spirit, is it possible for uh, DJ to come back around? And will you allow the energy for DJ to come back around? Spirit said trust. Spirit said release tension. Spirit said, find the blessing in your current situation. No, you shouldn't. Enjoy the moment, sister, but it's better out there. Okay. Don't get, okay. don't even put yourself in the struggle. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Well, I think, yeah, I think, <laughs> okay. All right. <sighs> Late weight lifted off your shoulders, huh? Yeah, it was, it was. Cause it was a lot of things I was wondering about that I just, I, I kind of had an inkling, but I didn't know for sure. Well, you got it now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, well, we're right. definitely going to keep in touch. I might be coming back to you for an uh, ancestral reading or something. Okay, guys. Because uh, I'm always thinking of stuff like, okay, well, I need to know this. I need to know that. <laughs> well, you, you, you know I'll be waiting. All right, thank you so much. All right, darling. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Everybody, our sister done worked it out. She good. She done worked it out. I like it. I like everything about this reading. I ain't got no more to say. Pause the comments below. All right, everybody, I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust in you and the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Tribe.